I get tired of this, of this, and of this. That is why we are moving to the studio. Cut. Ik heb al nog. Today it's it's incredible for me to have not one, not two, but three friends uh, who can come and uh, be with me, and of course my husband. Uh, and today, uh, since we moved to the studio, I wanted to talk about what is creative place inside and outside. I want us to manifest it, and I want us to visualize it and put it on the paper to talk what is creative place. So Eric, you also work with um, kids and people, you're also a teacher, so what can you tell us about these first uh, pushes for people and what in general about the creative place? So for me, uh, it's always been important to start with like a prompt or uh, like an assignment. Mm -hmm. uh, also for me personally, I find it really hard to just be creating without an idea before. So when I teach uh, teenagers, mm -hmm. I always give them like a clear prompt, mm -hmm. like you're supposed to make a drawing, uh, like right now we're working, working with street art, mm -hmm. so I'm like, uh, you have to draw a drawing or a painting and it has to have a message mm -hmm. about society. Yeah, so I'm like, I, I tell them, uh, you have to either choose something like personal about mental health or love, or you have to, uh, your art has to say something about politics or a crisis, something that's bad in the world mm. that you want to change. And then they actually start drawing. Mm. Because if I say just draw something, they will never ever do it. Never. Okay, we yeah. should take it today really seriously. <laughs> and maybe somehow we can move from the very broad and abstract concept of creative place to narrow it down a bit. Let's try to do this. No, when I'm too frustrated, when I'm too uh, disrupted, uh, distracted, yes, uh, I cannot do this. When I think, oh no, I have to take the trash out, I have to clean it before I can start actually working, then nothing happens. But when the world is silent, my brain can be wild. That's how it works for me. You said it wonderfully. So, Zeman, my friend, uh, what's creative place for you? That's a good question. Uh, I would say a creative place is... I don't know, I like asking questions and uh, asking why and how. So, getting into my perspective and... Yeah, I don't know, I would say finding the answer to to what is giving you feelings, you know? So when you get... Oh, okay, should I start again maybe? <laughs> no, no, it's fine, it's going great. All right, so uh, I would say tapping into your feelings and giving your, whatever you're doing creatively, giving it feelings, that's all I need to. Amazing. Yeah. It's actually a psychological yeah. creativity test that just have like it tests out of the box solutions for the problems like and it is used for psychological studies so uh, yeah 
I, I guess the simple definition would be something like you know, uh, whether you can come up with something new uh, based on the something you never saw before. Right? Yeah. So you will get a uh, task in the way and then you will um, just uh, make something up. Yeah. Like a little bit of skills yeah. to, to solve problems. Yeah. Yeah, but it's also interesting how it can speak to, uh, let's say, uh, drawing and artistic creativity. I found out and told you that for me, the order is the biggest um, key, I would say, to creativity. So now, how can I even uh, translate the word and the idea of order into the visual language? For me, order will be very symmetrical and uh, straightforward, I guess. So something, some repeating part pattern will be uh, an order for me, definitely. Maybe something like this. <gasps> it looks like a cage. What does it say about me, guys? <laughs> Maybe my order is my cage. It's just a greed. It's just a greed for now. But in this greed, when I have this order, when I have this base, now I can ruin it. everything and like throw it in a bin so i keep my drafts yeah. and then i like see the evolution of the work so it starts somewhere and you can't forget it and then when you have like the final stages and you kind of feel excited and proud about it you see where you started and you see the middle way and you see the ending so uh, for me it's uh, a little different uh, question i guess uh, like creative process during some more technical stuff because there is some creativity there for sure but it's a little different uh, and yeah I don't know for me it's uh, I guess first is the spark of interest uh, that triggers the what is it, the process of thinking because when I am passionate about something it could be a very short uh, fascination <laughs> but yeah. the ideas are just uh, I don't need to do anything, <laughs> there's just a lot of them. So if uh, I'm into like something hooked me into I don't know, thinking about specific problem, it can be a mathematical problem, but also can be a drawing. I remember when I was a kid, I was like uh, hooked to certain things. And the like, simple thing was that I really liked maps and drawing maps. I had a big uh, canvas with a map of the city. I drew like all the streets and uh, buildings and stuff like that. And I was not just uh, interested in drawing it, I was extremely excited about like what what will be the kind of inhabitants of that, uh, all of these things. Uh, yeah, and uh, so I feel like the first thing for me is the, just being interested in something. Mm. That's, That's kind cool. of how it started for me too, because when I was a kid, I didn't usually just draw to draw, but I was actually drawing like outfits on people mm -hmm. and I was designing rooms uh, so I, I had a vision in my head and I was trying to like see oh if I had a new bedroom how would it look what's my dream bedroom or what's my dream outfit so I was like a designer as a kid <laughs> even more with all the art supplies I'm just Getting, I'm just getting that. So that's why I decided to make some space, basically, at my home for my creativity to fly. So that's the order part. For you. That's the order part for me, right? But what about you guys? What do you feel any anything when I'm telling you about my um, seed of creativity? What is for you? Do you start, start, do you start to find anything about you? I would say for me it's the opposite. Opposite. Because I am I'm just messy with everything. Amazing. Yeah. So how would you visualize Messi? I don't know, just... You know the exercise mm -hmm. where there's just a paper and pen or mm -hmm. pencil and then you just doodle and then you find things in there that you mm -hmm. haven't seen before? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just is it faces. Is graphics or something like that? The... Uh, I don't know. Is... No, 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 it's... Show it has a name. So... Doodle, you know, I can use this paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just doodle whatever I don't see sometimes even just do something and then try to find a mind. amazing yeah a pattern that 
uh, just highlight the things that you want and then you can imagine them that they're in space. Yep. So, uh, yeah. Amazing. I don't know if I can come up with something right now, but yeah. But this is already something. So first I started with this um, green and then of course I had to add some colors to that and then it started to seem like some square in some beautiful contrast European city for me. That is why I added a uh, like antique fountain and when I think about the antique fountains I immediately think about like Sicily, like Italy, France and that's why I painted the sea with some antique vases on the bottom. Like for me, this um, idea of finding something underwater, something super old, is the most exciting thing in the world. I mean, the, in the Call Me by Your Name in this movie, yeah. they had found the statues under the water, like in Greece, in Italy, and this just fascinates me so much. And also, I really loved Mermaid when I was a kid. So the cartoon Ariel and uh, when she found all those like human stuff on the bottom it was just my dream. So maybe this is like my brain leading me to what really is my creative place. I made some rules for myself to make it a little bit easier to move forward. So I started with uh, choosing four colors. And then I made a rule of what order I was supposed to color in. And now I have this piece. <laughs> so I'm following the same order every time, like green, red, blue, orange. Yeah, I do that, yeah. And uh, so now I know exactly what to do. And I made this pretty quickly just because of that. But later I want to add more details uh, that are more creative. So your creative place is what? Rules? Sometimes, but it varies for sure. Yeah. Cool, cool. So how was your creative process? Well, as I said before, I'm very messy and I started with the doodling. And I don't know, I'm just trying to find textures wherever I can and yeah, see how it goes. The question that was uh, asked uh, and I guess I answered some, some of the ideas uh, that for me the main thing that sparks creativity is interest. I was thinking how to draw interest, so it was quite hard and uh, for me it's like if you have multiple subjects and you can pick one subject and it is starting to glow uh, with this like, colorful rainbow of sorts. Uh, so I just picked a car, but it could be anything, of course. Uh, so yeah, this is kind of how you can feel when you are interested in something. You just focused on that, you're really into that specific thing. Uh, and uh, yeah, you don't notice much else, you just think about it and ideas are just uh, coming and coming. And you can do whatever with them, draw, sink, paint or uh, so this is where we ended up after what would you say like one hour one and a half hours of drawing maybe no what i don't know i didn't look at the clock two hours three hours i don't know at least we had some patience and everyone chose a different way of doing this based on what the sort of guy told us in the beginning um so even though this is not my style i'm very happy with my drawing and it's complete yeah <laughs> So this is our very first day in the studio. I think we've made an amazing job, everyone had fun. 
And as Aiden said, it was really fun to work without any pressure, any goal or any judgment on ourselves and that's what we wanted to inspire you to do. Please have fun and draw something today. Yeah, I had a little bit of a problem, but it was another one that was a problem. But if you sit down, it's so good. But it's so good. He's coming to see me.